Our special guest this morning is one of Hollywood's most sought-after comic actors. It's only Steve Carell. Woo! How about that? I can't it's, believe we've got him in the studio. I Not know. true. Not true at it all. Is, well, it's what, what it says here. It says it. For you? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this this environment, uh, as far as I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, is one that's not unfamiliar for you. Am I right in saying when you were at college, you were a student radio DJ? Is that yes. correct? I was. Yeah. That's where it all started for you. Sapphire Steve Carell. Wow. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> yeah. love that. Wow. What, I know. What even does that mean? It nothing. No. <laughs> I interned, I interned with somebody, and his his handle was Diamond Doug McKenney. Okay. So when I first went on the air, Just I thought stones. I would give him some grief and say that my name was Sapphire, Sapphire Steve, Steve Carell. Carell. So, Jamie, you could be Jade. Why not? I could be Amethyst Amanda. Wow, look at you. They just came this off out. the top of my head. <laughs> Anyway, I love it. It doesn't really have any kind of ring to it, though, does it? It's all terrible. It's all bad. <laughs> we could, but you could have, like, that could have been a career for you, though, right? Not at all. Okay. I mean, as is evidenced by how well I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, oh, well, it's a real pleasure to have you with us. Luckily, today. you moved on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we wouldn't, of course, have the brilliant Despicable Me movies. Exactly. Of which the new one is out. It's out Friday the 1st of July, The Rise of Groot, which I was lucky enough to already see with my 10-year-old. I was just discussing it with Steve. The, the best thing, I think, about all this franchise is how you can sit there as an adult and completely enjoy it. And just listening to my little girl, Holly, laugh at stuff, that I'm like, what? And then me howling at other stuff, and she's like, what? Is I think the best moment for a family in this franchise. What do you think? I agree. I yeah. uh, and I think that's that's what the this whole franchise has been about. Yeah. There, it's a it's a little little edgy, and and in that way, I think it just doesn't condescend to children. A hundred percent. I think kids love a tiny bit of danger or implied danger, yeah. but not real danger. And where did your voice come from? Because I know that has something to do with your children, the voice of Gru. Is that yeah. right? Well, I tested out the voice on my kids when they were little. The, the, the first one, my I think my son was four when the first oh. one came out. <laughs> and, uh, and so, and my daughter was seven. So I I was about to go in and do the first recording for it. Yeah. And I had a few different voices in mind. And I tried out the one I eventually used. And that's what that's what made them laugh. That's hey, the guys, point. what do you think of these? Ah! And they were like, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's loved the it. one. I love it. I have to say, <laughs> I think that Mini Boss Little Gru does look a little bit like you. Thank you. I think. That's if really I was watching cool. it going, oh, I think they've actually... Because the, the big one doesn't, obviously. But the little one's really cute and got hair and <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to find a shovel and I, I don't know where I'm going with this but I kept thinking oh it really look, it really looks how like different? Steve. how different is D little Gru's voice to big Gru's voice it's like helium it's like yeah, a, you just a amp up the helium a tiny bit can you do little Gru for little Gru talks a little more like this <laughs> hello there everybody <laughs> <laughs> the other great thing about it is it's not often that you actually get to love evil character. I mean, he's not that evil, but evil characters. So by the end, I know, you know, we know we see him, we, he grows up, he adopts three children, it's all wonderful. But how you kind of, cut, you really do love the naughtiness and the mischievousness of this character. Yeah, I think that's well put. I think it is more naughty than evil. Yeah. And, and I think kids love that. They love a little bit of naughtiness without it being actually going over to any darkness. Exactly, yeah. exactly. We have to also talk about the fact that Julie Andrews is back in this movie. She plays your mum. And that's quite unique for her to play a baddie as well. It is. Did you get to meet her or do you just stay in different booths? I, ju I, I know her a little bit. Okay. We've spent some time together and uh, I just presented an award to her. Um, the AFI Life Achievement Award. Oh my god! So I got to actually fet her at a, a a big you know event in Los Angeles a week ago. How she fantastic. is she's one and and part of what I said in in my speech is that she's the type. And ha, do you know her? Have you I met her? I don't know at all. But I I was in my first job out of drama school was The Sound of Music, and so I'm a big fan. Uh, she's she's everything you would hope she would be. Yeah. She just. She's a type of person, you know, you everyone has these expectations. She exceeds them. She is she's I hate to use the word, but she is so classy. She's such a dignified, funny um 
you know, and and for a legend and carrying that with her wherever she goes, she's in, incredibly special. It's nice to have you here in the UK. Do you spend much time over here? I mean, do you get a chance to visit much? Or? I haven't been here since uh, I took my wife and kids to Wimbledon uh, three years ago. Oh, wow. And, and we had never been before, and right. it was fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, you're here. It's near. It's near. It yeah. was great. I know. I know. Oh. Um, I, I wish we. Well, uh, eventually we'll we'll get back. But that's the last time we were here. Yeah. Right. I mean, do, what do you get up? Do you get, have you t- had time to explore London or? Would you ever get on like a double decker do? top bus and just do the tour? I sure. Hmm. I would love to do all the touristy things. You do learn a lot. We live here and don't do any yeah. of that. See, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. When I lived in New York for a number of years and never did anything, never yeah. saw the Empire State Building or the Statue of Liberty or Ellis Island or any of the typical touristy New York things. And it wasn't until I moved away that I came back and did all of that stuff with yeah. my family. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, we, we, it's been lovely having you on this morning. We appreciate you coming on, telling us uh, all about the brand new film, uh, which is out now. Steve Carell, how about that? This is hot.